Hello everyone, my name is Pranay Sharma and this is a topic that we will be taking into our consideration today, linear equations in two variables. So let us see, this is how our roadmap is going to look like. So first in the foremost case, we'll be dealing with the definitions part. That means why do we call this as a linear, right? And what does uh, an equation signify, all right? Why it is uh, uh, known as linear equation in two variables, all right? And then we'll try to talk on solution part. So what do we understand by solution? Three methods are being given here by substitution, by elimination, by cross multiplication method. And I'll be discussing this uh, one by one. So the first, uh, okay, first thing is we need to discuss the solution of an equation. So let me share my screen. I hope this is visible. All right, so what do we understand by an equation first? Let us have one example into our consideration. Let us take five X, which is a term. That is a combination of constant and a variable. I'm taking an example of linear equation in one variable, plus two equals 12. Whenever we have equals to sign in between, all right, in between two algebraic expressions or terms, whatsoever it may be, then we usually have a situation, suppose if we are sitting over, the, over this equals to sign, then this will be our left part and this will be our right part. This is known as right hand side, and this part is known as LHS, left hand side. So this is linear in nature. Why is that so? Because the highest power of a variable is one and we have equals to sign in between. So on other hand, it is also an equation. All right. And we have only one variable dealing with it. Okay. For this particular equation. So that is why it is linear equation in one variable. What do we, uh, why we are considering this, right? Because we need to check what exactly the word solution means. 5x plus 2 equals 12 is being given to us. We need to identify the value of x, which can, you know, make this LHS and RHS as one and the same. So we'll be using hit and trial method. What do we understand by hit and trial method? Let us try to substitute any random value of x. Let us take x as 1 and substitute it in the equation. I'm going to call this as equation number 1. So this will be 5 into 1 plus 2. Take RHS simultaneously. So this will be 5 plus 2 equals 12 that means 7 equals 12 obviously this is an absurd situation so x equals 1 is discarded this will not be the solution of this equation solution means finding a possible value which can make lhs and rhs as one in the same take x as 2 5 into 2 plus 2 in equation 1 then this will be 10 plus 2 equals 12 okay this can be solved with b o d m a s fine multiplication is to be followed first so 12 equals 12, bingo. All right. That means x equals 2 is accepted. So this is what we call solution. And practically, whenever we are talking about two variables, right, linear equation in equations in two variables, then suppose this is first equation, right, which is a line, and second equation, which is again a line. So wherever these equations are intersecting, that is known as the solution of that uh, pair. All right. So this is the practical word why we are you know representing it and what do we understand by solution so practicality can be understood can be understood here now oh, we need to consider another example so let me quickly share my screen Fine. so we need to consider one question and we need to solve it through above methods that means we'll be solving it by substitution elimination and cross multiplication method i'll also tell graphical representation right uh, in order to uh, when we are going to summarize, when we are going to conclude the session, then we'll be talking on this as well. So x plus y equals 6 and x minus y equals 2 is what we have. Let us jump to notebook. Okay. x plus y equals 6 and x minus y equals 2. I'm going to call this as equation number 1 is, and this is equation number 2. This is a linear equation because highest power of variables is 1. All right. And we have two variables. So that is why it is linear equation in two variables why it is an equation because we have equals to sign in between and when whenever we have algebraic terms interconnected with each other with plus or minus and then they are equated with the help of equals to sign in between to another term or constant or whatsoever it be all right or sometimes algebraic expression then that will be classified as linear equation if we are having two variables it will be two variables Three, then it will be three variables, right? And uh, one variable, then that the case we have recently discussed, right? So we need to solve it first by substitution. 
now i will be solving this i will be taking you know help of equation number 1 i should be expressing one variable in terms of another and i am going to call this as another equation now you need to substitute the value of equation third in equation 2 why is that so why we are doing this because if we substitute the value of equation 3 in equation 1 itself then we'll get 6 equals 6 that is not something that we uh, are asked to calculate all right we need to find the possible values of x and y so that we can have um, a conclusion drawn okay this is going to be the solution fine so when we are substituting the value of oh, x equals 6 minus y which is equation number 3 in equation number 2 then this is equation number 2 and 6 minus y instead of x i should be writing 6 minus y minus y equals to 6 minus 2y equals 2 all right because we have same sign addition is to be followed that is why i did perform this so this will be minus 2y transposing this to right hand side it will be 2 minus 6 that means different sign subtraction this will go away y is 2 right so we got value of y as 2 now you substitute value of y in any in any set if you substitute it here itself which is equation number two so you'll be getting the value of uh, x calculated all right so which implies x minus two equals two that means x should be four and how we are representing the solution in ordered pair x comma y this is going to be ordered pair representation so this will be four comma two fine so this is how the solution is going to look like we first uh, will be first writing x and then we'll be writing y now let us solve this with the help of elimination method second method x plus y equals 6 and x minus y equals 2 equation 1 equation 2 by elimination how we can solve this by elimination method you just subtract equation second from equation 1 all right when you subtract it second minus sorry 1 minus second is what we are going to do when you subtract you just change the sign all right so x is available to us with a positive note in equation second so it will get minus this will be plus this will be minus now this sign these are the signs that we are taking right for further calculations plus x and minus x will go away zero and when you are you know subtracting something in equations lhs with lhs and rhs with rhs is to be followed all right so y and y will be 2y this will be 6 minus 2 that is nothing but 4 that means 2y equals 4, y should be 2. Okay. So once we have calculated the value of y, you substitute it in any of the equation, you will get the answer. I am substituting it in second. So it will be x minus 2 equals 2. That means x equals 4. Again, you can represent it like this 4, comma 2, which is nothing but an ordered pair representation for solution. Third method is by cross multiplication method that is considered as the toughest method. And it is based on the fact that we will be using, you know, the concept of determinant as well. And uh, Kramer's rule that you will be studying, you know, in higher grades, 12th in matrices. So x plus y equals 6 and x minus y equals 2. That was the equation. Uh, or rather, I should say equations given to us. Now, in order to have this considered, we should be, you know, first writing it like this. This is the format and I'll explain you why uh, we are writing it in this way. This is something we call determinant. All right. So how we can calculate determinant of something? Suppose if we are given with A as a matrix like this, A, B, C, D. All right. And then I need to calculate the determinant. Then determinant of A can be calculated like this. A multiplied by D minus C multiplied by B. As this is very small, right? Two cross two matrix. So this can be uh, found easily. Once we are dealing with, you know, three cross three or so in higher grades, then the method will change. All right. So in if we are dealing with X, so we, we need to hide the coefficients associated with X and whatever the values that we are left with, we should be writing it. One more thing, the standard form of linear equation in two variables should be like this. So we must first convert this into standard form. So this will be x plus y uh, minus 6 equals 0 and x minus y minus 2 equals 0. All right. Now you should be writing the coefficient. So hide all the coefficients of x 
So we'll be having one minus one, that is the coefficient of y, and then minus six and minus two constant terms. In y, hide all the terms coefficients of y. That means this complete term is to be hidden. This set. Fine. So coefficients of x are one and one respectively, and minus six and minus two is for constant term. For constant term, you hide everything which is possible with respect to constant term, right? Then you write all the terms here, other coefficients, one, one, and one and minus one. All right. Now with this, we can calculate. We need to use this, so it will be x over, okay, minus two, and minus into minus will give us plus, but we have one minus also, so this will be minus six only. All right. And this will be minus y over minus two and plus six, and this will be one over minus one minus one. Fine. Now we need to solve this. If we need to calculate the value of x, then we should be taking first and the last one. And if we need to calculate the value of y, then we should be taking the second and the last one. So this will be x over minus uh, eight equals one over minus two. That will give us x as minus eight over minus two minus minus will go away and we are left with four all right after performing the simplification so this will give us one variable the value of one variable for another variable y minus y divided by uh four equals one divided by minus two all right minus should not be there in the denominator uh, so we should be shifting it to the numerator this will go away that means y should be four by two, that is nothing but two. Again, we got four comma two as our representation, x comma y, that is the solution of this, all right? I'll also tell you one method, one more method, that is the graphical way to represent this, x plus y equals six and x minus y equals two. These were the two equations that were given to us. Hit and trial, we did discuss with the linear equation in one variable. Now, we should be you know, following the same. Here, we need to make a box like this, right? X and Y, separate them, right? We need at least three uh, values in order to have this considered. You can take four in order to arrive at accurate points. If I substitute X as zero, all right, for this particular equation, what will be the value of Y six? If I substitute Y as zero, what will be the value of X? Six, all right? If I substitute Y as, let us say two, okay? What will be the value of X? And this will be four. So box is prepared for this. Now box is to be prepared for the other one as well. X, Y, fine. This will be X minus Y equals two. If I substitute Y as zero, X will be two. If I substitute uh, X as zero, Y will be minus two. If I substitute X, uh, sorry, Y as, let us say one. All right, Y will be three, okay? So this is how it will work. Now the thing is that why we have represented this because ultimately I'm going to you know project it in Cartesian system. Okay, so this is O, this will be X, this will be Y, and this will be Y dash, this will be X dash. Here we are representing negative values, minus one, minus two, minus three. This is positive one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. Why I'm representing this now, we need to represent the very first equation, x plus y equals six. When x is zero, y is six. That means this is the point. When uh, x is six, y is zero. That means this is the point. When uh, x is four, y is two. All right, y is two, x is four. That means this is the point. So join all the points in order to get the line like this. This is nothing but x plus y equals six. So this is the very first graph. Second is x minus y equals two. When uh, x is two, y is zero. That means this is a point. When x is zero, y is minus two. All right, that means this is the point. When x is three, y is one. That means this is the point. We join them. All right. So this is actually a graph for x minus y equals two. All right, that is a line itself. The point of intersection is this. If you project this, so here you are getting two. If you project this on x-axis, here you are getting four. Again, we got four comma two as our coordinates. All right, that means the common point of intersection. That is nothing but the solution of this. I hope you have enjoyed the video.
uh, in case if you have any doubt doubts and queries are welcome now this is for q and a uh, yeah fine so this particular segment is devoted to q and a doubts and queries are welcome otherwise we can conclude we can leave